Section 5. Building an Android phone book application using TypeScript and Cordova. Overview. Bootstrapping the project and setting up Cordova. In this video, we will review preconditions and requirements, create an emulated Android device to use for testing, create and configure a new Cordova project, review the project setup and configure build scripts, and finally, test the application. First, let's go over the preconditions and requirements. First, it's assumed that you're using Windows 10. Other platforms may be used as well, but in this example, we're using Windows 10. This also assumes that you've installed the Java Development Kit, or JDK, version 8.1 specifically. Newer versions will not work with this. This is because we're going to be using Android Studio, and Android Studio requires JDK 8.1. So of course, it's also assumed that you've installed Android Studio. It also assumes that you've installed the Cordova package globally using npm install cordova-g. And finally, it's assumed that you've set the java underscore home environment variable to the JDK install path. For example, this might be C program files java JDK 1.8.0 underscore 201. The process of all these installations is outside the scope of this section. However, some of it will be covered in the supplemental materials provided. First, we need to set some things up in Android Studio. Start by creating a new Android Studio project. No activity is fine. For now, just use the default settings. We're not actually going to be using this project, but we need to have a project open in order to access the emulator. Click Finish for now. Android Studio may prompt you to download some packages. Anything it prompts you to download, go ahead and download it. Next, under Tools, SDK Manager, ensure that Android 8.1 Oreo, or API Level 27, has been installed. If it isn't, go ahead and install it at this time. Next, choose Tools, AVD Manager. This presents a new window. First, create a virtual device. In this case, the default of the Nexus 5X is fine. Click Next. Ensure that API level 27 is selected and choose next. Accept the default settings on the next screen by clicking finish. After Android Studio finishes creating the device, you'll see it listed on this screen. Start the device by clicking the play button underneath actions. The first time around, this will likely take a few minutes to load. Once the device is booted up, we're ready to go. We can minimize these for now. Next, we need an empty folder created somewhere on disk. In the empty folder, right-click and open the folder as a VS Code project. If a terminal isn't open already, open a new one by going to Terminal, New Terminal. In the terminal, enter Cordova Create My Phone Book, which is the project name, com.domain.myphonebook, which is the name of the application, followed by the title, which in this case is also My Phone Book. Note that this creates a new folder called My Phone Book with a bunch of content inside. Most of this content can be ignored as there are only a few of these pieces that we're actually going to need to edit or use. Next in the terminal, enter Cordova Platform Add Android. You can also do this for iOS, but this example just uses Android. In the terminal, change directory to the My Phone Book folder. Enter Cordova Platform Add Android. This will add the Android platform information to the project. This process may take a few minutes. After this, enter Cordova plugin add Cordova-plugin-contacts. This is a Cordova plugin that we'll need to use in order to manage contacts. Use npm to install the fs extra package, which we'll need for our build script. Finally, npm install TypeScript as well. Make sure to save dev. Under the My Phone Book folder, add a new file. Call it build.js. Add this code to the file. This is our basic TypeScript build process. In package.json, we need to add some scripts. First, a build script, which calls our build.js, using Node. Next, a start script, which tells Cordova to emulate Android in debug mode. And next, a release script, which tells Cordova to build for the Android platform in release mode. Primarily, we're going to be using build and start throughout this process. Next, in the terminal, type tsc double dash init. This creates a tsconfig file. Change module from common.js to amd. Uncomment out file 
and change it to www.scripts.index.js. This will compile all of our TypeScript into index.js and place it in the www scripts folder. Also, uncomment out directory and change it to www scripts. Finally, comment out the strict true line. To the My Phone Book folder, create a new folder. Call it src for source. To this folder, add a new file. Call it index.ts. For now, simply output a console log message that says started. Under www, edit index.html. This file contains a lot of comments, which for the purpose of this video, I'm going to remove. Change the title to phone book, change the style sheet link to main.css, and add a script reference to cordova.js and scripts slash index.js. Remove everything from the body element, including the script references. We don't need them anymore. For now, replace it with a phone book header and an empty div with an ID of contact dash list. We'll be using this later. In the terminal, execute npm run build. Finally, we can perform some minor cleanup. In the www folder, remove the CSS folder, the image folder, and the JS folder. We won't be needing them. Execute npm run build. Once the build is complete, www now contains a scripts folder, which contains index.js. Next, execute npm run start. Bring back up the emulated Android device and wait for the build process to complete. The build process will also automatically install the application to the Android device that's currently open. And as we can see, our phone book text has appeared. In our Android device, go back to the home screen. We can extend the app tray and find my phone book in the applications list. If we choose it, we get our application.